NFL player demonstrates the danger of leaving a dog in a hot car by locking himself in a car. I worked in the veterinary field for more than 10 years, and in that time, I have seen way too many animals die of heat stroke because they were left in a car. And although most of my work experience was in Arizona, I also worked in Idaho and Utah where it is significantly cooler, and yet, just as many dogs died because the owners weren't as vigilant about the heat. At least, most Arizonans are familiar with this being a potential problem and try to be proactive about it. People don't realize that even when it feels relatively cool outside, the car can heat up, far beyond the outside temperature. The saddest case happened when one of our clients rushed his Springer Spaniel into the clinic. He was obviously DOA, and at first we thought he had drowned because he was dripping wet. Later we found out that the owner had pulled into his driveway and left the car door open as he ran into the house to get something. However, plans changed, so he went back outside, turned off the car, and shut the door on his way back inside. The dog often tried to go on car rides with his owner by hiding in the back seat of the car and then jumping into the front seat while on the road when it was too late to turn back. While the owner was inside the house with the car door open, the Springer got in and hid behind the seat. The owner didn't realize he was in the car until he found him several hours later. The reason he was dripping wet was because the distraught owner tried cooling his best friend down in the pool before bringing him into the clinic, but it was already too late. The reason I shared that story is to let you know that leaving animals in the car is not always intentional. This video shows Tyran Matthew, an NFL safety, who plays for the Kansas City Chiefs, sitting in a car to demonstrate what happens to your pets when you make them wait in a vehicle while you run errands. He makes some valid points while baking in the car. Dogs are family and you need to treat your family, even the animals, like family. Never leave your dogs in the car. Unlike Tyran, they can't open the car door and get out on their own. Personally, I'm not a fan of PETA, who sponsored this video. But it is an important message and something worth sharing if it only helps one person to be more aware of potential dangers not only for their own pets, but for others as well. Instead of shaking your head when you see a dog in a parked car, save a life by treating it as the emergency it is and report it to 911 immediately. No one plans to cause their pets harm, but it happens every day. If you plan on leaving your pet in the car, then it would be best to leave them at home instead where they can escape the heat. Just in case you were wondering why I'm not a fan of PETA, Ingrid Newkirk, who is the PETA president, said they don't advocate for the life of animals and that it would be lovely if we stopped this whole notion of pets altogether. As far as I can tell, the reason so many animals are killed, 90% within the first 24 hours, is because they don't feel it is right to keep them in a cage and they would be happier if they were dead instead of being locked up even for that short length of time it might actually take to adopt them out. I'm not sure why so many people blindly donate to their cause without even knowing what their cause is. The ASPCA is just as bad. If you really want to help animals, I would recommend donating to your local shelter, where your money will actually go towards their care, rather than programs like the ASPCA and PETA.